guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a favorites video today and the last favorites video I did was I think two months ago. So it's been a little while. Um, I have to say though, not a lot has changed. Like usually when I find favorites or things that I really like or things that I share with you in these videos, like they've remained favorites for a while and I continue to use them for a long time. So a lot of the stuff that I actually used in my last video are still very relevant. So if you haven't seen that one, you can definitely check it out. But these are some of my newest favorites that I've been wearing pretty much every day, which is usually the story of my life. Like I will do like use the same palettes for super long periods of time, same blushes, same highlighters and stuff like that. Like when I find stuff I love, I really love them. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And I wanted to do this video now because my best products of the year video is coming up at the end of December, as you guys know. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump into my favorites right now. I have something really exciting that I want to show you too that I am so proud of. And when I found this at Hobby Lobby, I was like, I have to share this with my subscribers because it's so awesome. So ugh, I need to take off these slippers. I am hot. Okay. Ugh. So the first thing I want to share is something that you guys are probably pretty aware of if you guys watch my videos consistently, and that is the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and I have a whole video on this, which I will link down below, or I'll put it in like a card if I remember. So this is a dropper style foundation, so you have the little, you know, dropper thingy here, and it is a cruelty-free brand, which is amazing, and the thing I love about this foundation is a little goes a long way, and I feel like that's kind of rare with foundations, especially if you're somebody that likes very heavy coverage. And that's what I love about it. And you can apply this with a brush and you can apply this with a beauty blender. I like both. I've been using brushes lately to apply my foundation, which is very odd because I usually don't. But this applies so evenly, it covers so well, it comes in such a nice range of colors, and the coverage is just phenomenal. So if you like a lot of coverage, this is perfect for you, and it's also very, very matte, so if you like a matte coverage, I really, really like it. I would definitely purchase this with my own money. This was sent to me, but I would definitely repurchase it because I've been using it pretty much every day if I'm not using my Physician's Formula Healthy Skin one. I kind of switch between the two, and sometimes I even mix them together. So I really like this. It's definitely worth a try, and it's called Catrice Cosmetics. Next up is something super simple. I'm just going to talk about this for a second because I don't think that this is really like that important but this is the NYX mineral matte finishing powder and it is I get the color light medium but you can also get translucent and this has been my go-to powder I'm not super picky with powders but lately I've been liking powders that have pigment to them versus translucent and I just feel like this works really well it gives me a nice matte finish and it lasts a long time meaning like there's a lot of product in here like I've had this for a very long time <laughs> like I can't even remember when I bought this but it has lasted me forever and it's just a great powder so if you're in the market for like a new finishing powder I would definitely recommend this but um this has been my go-to and I am actually out of this I just ran out so I have to go to the store and buy more because I'm definitely gonna buy this again like I'm just gonna repurchase it okay next up is a palette from the naked cherry line from urban decay and that whole line I really really like like the palette is beautiful I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram posts of my swatches of the like eyeshadow palette but mm, beautiful colors but I've been really liking this specific this specifically <laughs> this is the highlight and blush palette it looks like this we have a champagne color highlight and then we have this beautiful berry kind of pink blush and then a white highlighter and I love this blush color because it's so versatile like this is my go-to blush color it's like that mauve pink color it's not too coral it's not too orange but it's not too bright pink either it's just like that perfect color that could go on pretty much any skin tone that is why I like this so much and then these highlighters are beautiful as well and they're very very pigmented which I've said this a million times, I find that some highlighters just don't do it for me as far as pigmentation goes, but these definitely do, and I just love that these are together in a palette because it just means that I don't have to work as hard, open up a bunch of stuff, dig through my drawers to try to find my highlighters and blushes and all that kind of stuff. So I do like that these are all in one palette and I can just throw it in my you know, travel makeup bag and go, and it's just amazing. I love these colors so much. So next up is two palettes I've been really into, and I actually got a giant box of these eyeshadow palettes and they had so many like there was probably I'm gonna say like 10 
different palettes in this line um, but these ones I've been using so much and they're so good for every day so if you just want to buy like a small palette that you can keep like in your makeup bag or something that has just really good everyday basic colors these are for you and these are by Smashbox and I have these two right here this one is the Petal Metal Eye Palette and this one is the Minimalist Eye Palette and both of these are just so good for every day for very natural eyes but you can also smoke them out because they both have a dark shade. So this is the Petal Metal Palette right here and as you can see there's this dark color for smoking it out making it a little bit darker and then this one is really good for like the blender shade and you got some really pretty like lid colors. This is just a good palette for every day that you can pack in like your travel makeup bag and I absolutely love this. I use this so often. I don't know if you guys can tell how dirty like this part is but I love it so much. I've been using it constantly. And this one here is the Minimalist Eye Palette. This one I feel like is a little bit more like neutral and a little bit more cool toned. Um, so this is for somebody who's very, very simple and wants something incredibly neutral. And the thing I like about this one is they have a little bit of a darker matte here and they also have a lighter matte. So this could definitely go in like as the blender color, this could go in the crease, this could go in the outer corner, but then you also have some really nice shimmery like lid colors. Um, this is a very versatile palette. I almost prefer this one over the other one for like every day or if I'm recommending it to people that don't like to do crazy crazy looks. This one is like pretty much the perfect neutral palette in my opinion. As you guys know I always have to include like an MLBB because I'm I wear MLBBs pretty much every single day. My lips put better colors. It's just part of my brand at this point I feel like. Like every single favorites video I have an MLBB. At least one. Um, but the one I'm obsessed with right now is actually called what is it? I woke up like this and this is part of the NYX Slip Tease collection and the reason I feel like I like this one um, a little bit more than my other ones you know in past videos is that this is a little bit darker so it looks like this and it's a little bit more on like the brown hue versus like pink and I like brown lip colors I like things that are warmer in general and this one is just a little bit darker than like bedtime flirt or the NYX ones that I or not NYX the pixie ones that I shared in my last video this one's a little bit darker and I do like darker lips it's just something that I've always really liked so this is like the perfect shade. This might be like one of my all-time favorites. I don't know, but I love it. If you have a skin tone like me and you want like a darker MLBB, something that's maybe a little bit more bold but still neutral and natural and like nude, this is the color you need to buy. And I think I'm gonna buy like multiple of these for backups because I love it that much. Like for my purse, for my car, like I love it. This this is a must and if you guys follow me on Instagram and on Twitter I've raved about this already so you probably already know about it. This is the Lip Plumping Gloss by e.l.f. in Mocha Twist. I bought this on a whim and I was actually at the store when I bought this and I get a lot of stuff sent to me from e.l.f. and I love e.l.f. they have great products but I actually bought this at the store because it looked like the perfect color and boy was I right. Oh, it's so perfect. So it's this color right here. So it has like some definite pigment to it. It's not like a clear, I mean it is clear when you put it on your lips, but it still has the pigment so you're kind of getting like that milky color on your lips. It's more of like a darker nude, so you're getting like an MLBB look over an MLBB lipstick, or you can wear it on its own. I'm sorry with the MLBB thing, but it literally does describe the type of color I like perfectly, so. Anyways, it's that color right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. You can see the gloss. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful buy this. You will not regret it. And plus it's cheap, it's e.l.f. so it's not like you're like paying a bunch of money for it. It's the perfect like consistency, it's not sticky, it's like, but it's thick so it's gonna last a while. Best product I'm pretty sure e.l.f. has ever come out with. Like I've tried a lot of e.l.f. products, I've liked a lot of e.l.f. products, but this might be the number one best e.l.f. product in their line. And that's saying a lot, so <laughs> please try it if you haven't tried it yet. Okay, so now for my favorite product. I'll show you guys this really quickly. Let me wipe off these swatches because I feel like I always get swatches on my clothes. So, uh, this is an organization thing that I found at Hobby Lobby. And this is in like their craft section and I found it at the very back of the store. Like it was on the back wall. It wasn't in like an aisle. And it was in their crafting section. So I don't know if you'll be able to find this or if you can ask like an employee to show you where they are. But this is so perfect for your eyeshadow palettes. So this is the box. It's very big. It has a handle right here. 
and this is what ugh, I'm gonna put it on my shoulder like this and it actually is really nice because this has magnets in it so the drawers aren't gonna fall out so you actually can carry this without worrying about the drawers falling out but I put my palettes in here and it works fantastic I put all of my nude palettes my smaller nude palettes are in these drawers here my medium-sized nude palettes are here I took some out for this video so um, and then in these bottom drawers I have like my bigger taller nude palettes so like I have some Urban Decay ones in here. There's some in the very, very back, as you can see. And I would definitely recommend even getting more than one of these and just putting all of your palettes because it is literally the best way to store palettes. And I was running out of room actually in my Alex drawers right there. And I just wanted a new way to organize my palettes because I felt like what I was doing just wasn't working very well. And I feel like this is a really, really good way. And I like that it's white, so it looks very clean. And I love this thing, it's amazing. So that is my find that I was really excited to show you guys. Let me know what products in this video you guys wanna try the most. Let me know what you're excited about. And let me know if any of you guys go to Hobby Lobby and find this. I'd be really interested to see if they have this at other Hobby Lobbies because it's amazing and I kind of want to buy another one. So anyways guys, thank you, for thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notifications button so you guys can be notified of my videos. And also join my Kara Emily Insiders group on Facebook. Um, it's always linked down below, but I'm going to host another giveaway soon. But whenever I do giveaways, I always host them on Facebook. Um, so if you guys want to be involved in some giveaways, definitely go there and check that out. Um, and I think that is it, guys. So I will talk to you soon. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.